Tonight, the power of the people is on display after an unpopular decision by the U.S. Postal Service. Jim Richter, the famed blind broom salesman, is now back on the job after he was booted back in February from Indianapolis post offices. RTV6's Chris Prophet is live at the downtown post office after spending part of the day with the broom man who says that it's simply good to be back. Chris? Jim Richter and the Postal Service have had a very long relationship, but recently there was a nasty and public breakup that's finally been settled with Jim now back at the post office selling his brooms. I need a broom. Well, you came to the right place. Jim Richter is back in business at the post office after a temporary setback and a decades-long career selling brooms. These people that are in upper management uh, and, and live in ivory towers do, do not understand how business works down here on the street. After 60 years of allowing Jim to sell his brooms at post offices around the city, with no explanation, the Postal Service told Jim in February that he was no longer allowed on its property, an unpopular decision that led to a public outcry. I think it was terrible what they did to him. Uh, I bought brooms from him for years and years, and I just thought it was a tragedy. After Governor Pence and Indiana Speaker of the House Brian Bosma intervened on behalf of Jim, the Postal Service reversed course on Friday, saying that Jim was welcome back. He met with the postmaster on Monday with some new restrictions on where he can sell. E even though I won't be able to sell by the doors anymore and help the people as they go in and out of these buildings, um, I, I still think it's going to work out okay. The resulting controversy hasn't hurt business, with Jim selling out of brooms on most days, surrounded by supporters. I know enough to know that there were, from the reactions on Facebook, that there were a lot of people very unhappy with the situation, and now the situation's been resolved, and so we're really happy that he's back. In spite of all the controversies that we have in life, if you just ride them through to the end it's like riding a storm and there's a rainbow always at the end of that storm a controversy put to bed with the broom guy back in business and back where he belongs and while there are those new restrictions we talked about where jim can sell his brooms from what we saw today it certainly hasn't hurt business reporting live downtown chris profit rtv6